like to say, son of a bitch, the same of you who hates most Nintendo shit. I'm the one who calls games what they are. I even own a 360 and hate Gears of War. Got his friends, his money on games, fuck a car. Just a funny guy who became a YouTube star. So I picked up Born Conspiracy thinking, hey, what's the worst? I enjoyed the demo, right? And despite the fucking driving sucking and the shooting not being too good, I thought, hey, maybe the game adds some new stuff into it. Well, I picked it up and lo and behold, well, then I would give away the whole review, so watch the rest to find out what I thought. So the story is basically almost like the movie story. It actually is in some parts, but it also goes more into the background of it before the first movie. And I, I did like that. It was more in depth into his background. You get to know him more. And there are cinemas, full CGI cinemas for it. So that's pretty cool, not half-assed cinemas. So it's not really a movie game. But to be honest, just like the movies, me personally, I didn't find the story all that good. Now, I'm not going to hold it against it too much. The story is there. It may be interesting to some, but for me, it's just an average, you know, James Bond type of shit going on. The graphics are a split thing for me. Well, the models aren't bad at all. Um, they, they actually, what's really good about them is the movements. They all look like they're in motion all the time. Especially the Bourne's model. I think he looks cool. And, uh, you know, he looks like an agent ready to just whoop some ass. So that's really cool. Um, the driving looks like shit. Besides it being shit, I'll get more into the gameplay. The driving looks really like old, old, old school driving like in the arcades. And all the enemies to me look the same except for skin color. You got a black guy and a white guy, but they look exactly the same wearing the same clothes. There's really no difference and really all the enemies are the same. There's no really difference in look and in gameplay you'll get to soon. But with the gameplay, really, this is where the game falls for me, okay? It, let me get to the good. It, it has really cool cinematic fights in the beginning. Um, you get to see, like, when you punch and kick, it's, like, right up in your face like you're watching a movie. And the finishers in this game are absolutely awesome. I mean, you're throwing guys in the fucking walls. You're hitting them with a pipe. You, you're throwing them off a ledge. They look great. And um, there's, like, so many different environmental finishers that they really did a good job there. To be honest though, the fighting itself can get really boring. You're basically using two buttons, three if you count blocking. Uh, really, there's n uh, yeah, it's very little combos. X, Y, X, Y, X, uh, Y, X, X, Y, so on. You get the idea. There's not much combat here. It gets old super fast. I mean, in the first like hour, it's gone. Um, the driving sucks ass. Luckily, there's only one stage on it. Um, the shooting sucks ass. Really, it does. It feels like you're shooting BB guns. I shit you not, it even sounds like you're shooting BB guns. I mean, I know it's silencers and all, but I doubt that the fucking military ha on the other side has all silencer pistols. I mean, come on. So the shooting sucks. Um, it really does, and the cover system isn't that good either. Uh, the checkpoint system, oh my god. If you kill, like, 40 enemies, and then by accident get shot in the face when you're turning a corner, you have to start all the way back to kill all these enemies. Normally, checkpoints aren't bad. They're usually about 5 minutes in between each other. In this game, there's sometimes 15 minutes in between each other. It's just terrible. Um, the bosses take forever to kill. I mean, holy shit. They could take, like, 7, 8 minutes for a boss. Now, some people are like, well, that's nothing. I do that in Resident Evil. Yeah, but in Resident Evil, you're moving around. You're doing different things, blowing up barrels. And this, you're clicking X. Y. X. Y. A to block. X. Y. A to block. X, Y, A to block. What I mean is it takes forever. It's like these bosses were giving a bunch of rare candies from Pokemon, leveled up to motherfucking level 99, and have so much health that it takes just forever to knock them the hell out. It just, it, it pisses me off. And the controls just feel out of place. Like, I think they should have just redid the whole controls before they actually played. I wonder who tested this and said these controls are good. They're not very good. They feel like they're out of place, like RB to run and all this other shit. I don't even remember because the controls pissed me off so much. And it took me like four stages to actually get used to controls. And that's just, that's, that's fucking dumb. Fix the controls. Well, it sounds like up until now I haven't liked this game much. And well, to be honest, I really haven't. Let me get to what I really enjoyed for the first two hours of the game. I was having a good time. I was having a good time throwing guys in the walls and slamming them in the face with a fucking wrench. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. But it gets boring real fast. Uh, it does. The, 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 the third level, I think I was like, shit, this game's boring. 
And then, really, the game is only six to eight hours. I mean, you'll finish this... You see how fast I... Like that? Like a day or two, at most. Really, is a very short game. It may take some people a week. It took me, like, four days because I was playing, like, an hour or two a day. So, you know, six, eight hours. Do the math. You get it. So, it took me a little longer than usual. But, really, the game was just real short. It was real boring. And, really, there's nothing to do once you beat it unless play it on hard. But, hard is so ridiculously fucking hard that what is the point of playing it? So... That's my review of Born. It's a very average game. Pick it up if you if you really like Born Identity and their other movies that he made. You may like it, but for someone who's not a fan of the movies, uh, the game just gets real old real fast. They have to fix a bunch of shit like the shooting, the driving, and just about everything to make it more of a fun game. Born Conspiracy is very average.